If there was a competition for compact gyms where the winner was selected based on the number of quality exercises that could be performed within a certain footprint, this ATX triplex weight stack gym would be my entrant and I would be pretty confident that I would be securing gold. Now I must stress, only quality exercises count. By this, I mean, it has to be as close as to what it would feel like doing on a standalone machine. Now, there's plenty of gyms out there that can do loads of exercises. However, when packing in so many exercises, many become compromised. In some cases, it is a really important exercise like lap pull downs. It may involve a complicated setup or due to a two to one cable ratio, you might only get a max 50 kilo pull down out of a 100 kilo weight stack. So if we take away or stand up this bench, we have a 1400 by 1400 footprint. In this compact space, we have a lap pull down that is basically a scaled down version of a $4,000 Trinity tower. If I threw on a blindfold, I bet you would struggle to feel the difference. The leverage bench press is by far the best version of the ATX multi-presses that have been released so far, which is saying something because all the plate-loaded triplex owners will tell you that the previous setup was great. And to top it off, the bench. I'm not gonna say much on this. It is just amazing and we'll go into more detail on that later. Firstly, I really, really don't like doing these videos. Um, I'm an extremely shy person and don't want to come across as some wanker selling an ab roller on morning TV. So you'll have to trust me when I say something is the best or amazing. I won't say it unless I truly believe it and most importantly, I can prove it to you. So here I go. This lap pull down is amazing for such a compact gym. We are currently selling the, the whole gym for four grand. So I reckon it is great value too. Now the first thing that hit me with this lap pull down was the grooved bearing rollers on the high and low pulleys. Normally there is just some form of steel rod that sits there and stops the cable from jamming into the pulley. But these new rollers are actually very handy, especially on the, the high pulley. Gym equipment in the American market is normally big. Europeans, on the other hand, require more compact units. The standard height is usually around 215 centimeters, which is the height of this lap pull down. If a high pulley is at this height, it can make doing certain exercises like face pulls tricky. It might not seem like such a big deal, but I tried to solve this issue nearly 20 years ago on Powertech leverage gyms. If you tried to perform certain uh, high pulley exercises, uh, the cable would scrape on these rods. Now at the time, my solution was to cut a section of garden hose to protect the cable, it worked. A cut section of garden hose was a common engineering solution in Australia to the most complex issues. But when I saw the Germans have come up with this system, I was very impressed because it just works so nicely. Now behind the rollers, you can see that it is running aluminium pulleys the whole way throughout. Just like the Trinity Tower, it has this great new uh, start-stop height adjustment system. Yes, I know you can use a chain, but once you start using this system, you'll appreciate how convenient and how accurate it is. Now, the weight stack glides up and down on solid 20 mil guide rails. They have the exact same system as the Trinity and the LSW 750. The guide rails sit in position, but are not locked in. We actually had a LSW 750 customer thinking there was an issue because the guide rods weren't super tight. There's actually meant to be a bit of play as over tightening the guide rails can cause the rails to, to bow as they get compressed. 
by having this bit of play, the stack can just float or glide up and down. The previous ATX lat systems were great, but as I keep saying, this just is getting better. Now, while we're talking about the weight stack, a lot of people will say 100 kilos is not enough. For starters, I'd like to explain why it is only 100 kilos. To make the gym fit under that 215 centimeter ceiling, the pull down height is restricted. This means shorter guide rails. So the bigger the stack, the shorter the range of motion. You can't have both. The other factor with the weight stack is that it is one to one. So you are actually lifting 100 kilos. Now I've told this story before of how people uh, used to come in and just look at this multiplex unit over here, which also too only has a 100 kilo weight stack and they thought that that would be, not be enough for them. They jump on and they're topping out at 60 kilos on lap pull downs. In the gym, they may have been thinking they were lifting 100 kilos or even more, but the cable ratio on the machines they were using in the gym was obviously not one to one. For the vast majority of lifters, 100 kilos will be more than enough. I can feel some lats flaring up out there in disagreement. So to work out where you sit on the totem pole, we are lucky enough that Big Dave Napper from Brisbane North Barbell has a couple of trinities in his gym. Now Big Dave has 300 kilo plus competition deadlifts and squats. Big Dave only reps out on 100 kilos, but it is important to note the form. So if your lifts are not in the same vicinity as Big Dave's, you'll be sweet with this weight stack. Instead of wasting your money on buying a lap machine with a bigger weight stack, check out Dave and spend the money with him on some coaching, whether in person or online. You'll get far better results from his advice than flailing around on a lap pull down trying to move a weight that is far too heavy for you. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> but for the, the true beasts out there, ATX have made it simple to add more resistance. The resistance band setup on this weight stack is so easy to set up and most importantly, it's the cheapest way to add extra resistance. Next up is the leg lock system for pull downs. Once again, it is so well designed and easy to use. Normally on this level of equipment, it is just a basic pin which works fine. But now ATX has got a custom pop pin and it just makes using it so much easier and better. The rollers are PU and are secured in place with anodized collars. If you compare it with our old multiplex, which just has vinyl covered rollers and no collars, once again, it worked fine and it's still one of my favorite gyms, but another demonstration of how ATX is going to great lengths just to keep improving the quality of their gyms. At the bottom, it has the custom ATX footrests. You can actually sit on the bench in, in a decline position for cable rows. Alternatively, you can sit on the floor for a traditional seated row. Um, if you wanna make it more comfortable, you can get an ATX row seat. Now we'll move on to the multi-press. Now the, the ATX multi-press has always been popular. Uh, the old design did the trick. We still have one upstairs in our gym because we can't get enough stock of the new version to set one up. And I won't be selling the old one anytime soon despite countless offers because simply it gets used too much at the moment. But this new version of the multi-press has many new improvements. For starters, the weight horns now are chromed and 50 mil versus the old design, which was 30 mil with nylon Olympic sleeves. They're angled now, so you don't even need to use collars. Underside, the old models used to just have a, a, a basic protective strip that the arms used to sit on. Now they are custom shaped and made from some sort of space age material. 
and it's a far cry from the old days when they used to just have rubber strips that would um, you know eventually wear after years of use the locking system for the arms when you're using the lap pull down is also well designed it even has little custom ATX pins to lock it in place um, on the handles there's no grips that'll wear just uh, really nice knurling and textured paint my favorite upgrade is the uh, revised angle selection system it is the easiest so far to get into the right position for pressing plus most importantly you have great rowing options which ironically are my favorite exercises on the pressing station the gym comes with the mbx 650 bench this bench is amazing and i won't go into detail now because it really needs a separate review we sell this bench at the moment for a thousand and fifty this thing can do things that benches twice the price can't do and it would be just as good quality too the most important feature though for someone who is looking at this as a whole gym is if you're looking for that ultimate compact gym the bench accepts the optional ATX attachment range so you have the added flexibility to add exercises without a major increase in your gym footprint now the reason why this bench is included with this gym is because uh, to do shoulder press if you have a standard style bench you won't be able to get into position with the backrest in the upright position however with the roller system the bench slides back perfectly into the upright position now when atx released this gym i did ask atx if they could separate them um, they said no that they'd be selling the gym as a complete unit so for some this might be a bit off-putting but i can tell you now if you this bench um, with this gym it's perfectly matched and this is a premium gym for premium customers so if you've got the money uh, it is worth matching the two together and it just makes the whole unit complete and and matches all the latest designs too now onto the downsides if you're looking at buying this gym as a complete multi gym for home the one area that i would say it's lacking is leg exercises it does come with a straight bar that you can attach to the the lever arms you can do squats with it also close grip bench press but i don't really count the squat as a legit leg exercise if i had this as my sole multi gym i would do squats and lunges with the bar but it would definitely be high rep work um, similar to goblet squats or something like that for squats since you start at the bottom of the range you can't really go for max weight lifts ultimately always view it as a press station that you can do some leg work on now if i was really tight on space um, to complement this unit for legs i would get a compact hex trap bar and the leg lift attachment for those with a bit extra space this gym combined with the compact leg sled and a set of um, iron master dumbbells would be heaven for me quality all around the only other issue with this gym and and its layout is that it does take a few sessions to get your um, foot foot position right for lap pull downs um, when you're sitting under the leg rollers you have to clear the rubber feet when getting in and out also another thing when the the lever arms are stored in the upright position um, you just have to watch your head as you're navigating around the gym but in the scale of things and in comparison to other compact gyms these are pretty trivial i guess lastly the issue for many will be the price currently at four grand this gym is not cheap but hopefully this video will demonstrate that you are getting unbelievable value for your dollar a leverage bench press super smooth weight stack lap pull down and an amazing bench is pretty good for this price um, personally i'm not aware of anything of similar quality and functionality at this price range now if you are on a budget you do not need to go out and rob a bank just get the plate loaded 
version of the triplex it i'll be doing a, a a video soon of the latest release but you'll see from the old version that it is highly rated in the garage gym com community now personally I've, I've trained on those leverage style gyms whether it be megatech powertech atx and i'll say the the plate loaded version does just as good job as this weight stack version it's just not as refined um, you've got to do a bit of changing, but it's weight training. You, you're changing weights, you, you, you're moving things around. It's not a big deal. Who would I recommend this gym to? If you've got four grand and you've got this amount of space, I'd recommend this gym to anyone. It doesn't matter whether you're new, haven't lifted a weight before, or you're an extremely advanced lifter, this gym will blow you away. If you're buying it as your sole machine, bear in mind the leg training lim limitations I mentioned previously. But if you're starting to build a home gym or a small studio, this gym here would be my recommendation to build your, your gym around. There's so many different paths you could do to add onto it, whether you added a, a, a path rack or power rack, um, as I said before, a leg sled, um, this combined with the Iron Master dumbbells. There's so many different paths you can take, but you know, a lap pull down, a quality bench, a leverage bench press um, with rowing options. It just can do so many things, all with great quality, compact footprint. Um, you know, as I say, I don't like carrying on about these things. Um, if you're in Sydney, you, you know, you can come in and try it out. But I just think from, you know, all the stuff you've learned about ATX, you know, the, the plate loaded version of the triplex, it's not like it's a new concept. ATX have just, you know, applied all their new design technology, manufacturing techniques, and just come out with a better version.